Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to those who are new who are watching my video for the very first time, welcome to my channel. This is the part 2 of things that you can carry to Australia from India. If you haven't watched the part 1 video, I'm going to share the link somewhere over here. So in that video, I have covered clothes, footwear, jewelry and documents. So please make sure to watch part 1 and now let's continue. <music> Next category is electronic items, gadgets and money. Once you get your PR, you can bring as much as money into Australia. But if you are carrying more than 10,000 uh, Australian dollars with you, you have to declare that uh, in uh, incoming passenger card. Uh, then you can get your phone, tablet, iPad, uh, anything that you are using. But uh, remember one thing that the pins of your charger would be different as compared to Australia. So invest in a good travel adapter. You can get at least two travel adapter with you and uh, if you're planning to buy a new phone laptop or any gadget we would suggest buy it from here itself uh, do your research uh, here you will find apple store uh, and then there's jb hi-fi which is the largest and the biggest uh, digital store over here in australia our opinion buy it buy any new product uh, uh, any new gadget that you want to from here in australia uh, one would be the price difference second uh, the pin would be of here third would be that uh, it will be easy for you if there is any issue with your uh, product then it is easy for you to get it repaired over here in Australia if it is within warranty we also had Amazon uh, fire stick back in India so we also got that with us so uh, I would like to uh, suggest one thing so if you are concerned about the Indian channels or shows if you want to watch any in Australia there are many options but recently uh, like two or three months back we received uh, a subscription from Yuck TV and uh, since then we have been enjoying our experience uh, watching various Indian channels and shows and series uh, on Yuck TV. Yuck TV is a live streaming app, a content provider for South Asian content that includes movie, Indian channels, Indian shows and everything. You can stream any Indian channels or show of your choice through this app. You don't need any set-top box. It's an app that you can download, register yourself and buy the packages and watch. You can watch it on your PC, TV, mobile or anything as you can connect maximum of 4 devices from the same Yup TV account. They have one great feature that we like which is Catch Up TV wherein if you have missed any show you can watch that for up to 10 days under the Catch Up option. Also, the quality of HD channel is really good considering the fact that this is a live streaming app. So you can download Yup TV from the App Store of your device. Once you have downloaded, you have to sign up or register. Now registration is free, but there are certain devices where you will be asked to pay for device activation charges if applicable. Later after that, to watch any shows or content, you need to subscribe. A new user can subscribe to package from the Yup TV website through laptop or PC. Also, if you're planning to buy any duty-free items uh, during your flight journey and if the amount of that product exceeds 900 AUD, you have to declare that in uh, incoming passenger card. Now, next category is medicines. Now, when it comes to medicines, uh, you can get any prescribed medicines with you, uh, but you need to have a prescription letter from your doctor you need to declare it, uh, but make sure the supply of those medications should not go over three months supply. Make sure you don't get it on huge quantity and you're carrying that with your accompanied luggage. And then uh, there are certain medicines which are not at all allowed into Australia. So I'm going to share the list down below in the description box. Make sure to go through it and also make sure that the medicines that you're getting, it is only for your own personal use.
Now, as soon as you land into Australia, you're not going to immediately go for uh, any shopping, right? So what we suggest, in our opinion, get at least one week's uh, essential items with you, like one toothpaste, one toothbrush, one uh, shampoo, one conditioner, uh, one packet of pa tampons or pads, um, um, one uh, comb, then... Um, one bath towel and uh, one deodorant with you uh, so if you're comfortable you can get it in travel size and then make your ex uh, then then you can buy other items over here in australia and here in australia chemist warehouse is a very good place to buy all your toiletries item um, and even medicines if you want to moving on next is food uh, so there are certain things that you're allowed to carry into australia and there are certain food items that you're not allowed and uh, you have to declare certain food items I'm going to share the link down below in the description box. Please go through that link and search for the items that you want to get it from uh, India. Now, in our case, we did not get any food items over here in Australia because we were completely fine to buy all those things from Indian store over here. Uh, I have also made a separate video of Indian store tour with all the products and the prices. I'm going to share the link somewhere over here. Uh, please go ahead and check that. You can find all the uh, Indian uh, products uh, masalas, jaggery, sugar, ghee, oil, anything that you want, you can find every single thing. Now, I know there are many things that you would like to get it from India, like some homemade pickles or else ghee or else masalas and everything. Like I said, I'm going to share the link down below in the description box. Go through that link and as you can see in that link, it is said that if you talk about ghee, uh, we are not allowed to get ghee into Australia because we are not uh, under the FMD country that they have mentioned. Uh, then we talk about sweets uh, then if you will check uh, in the seasonal event section uh, they have clearly mentioned that certain uh, sweets are not allowed into Australia like mostly they are milk related sweets now when it comes to pickle as you can see over there they have written you have to declare it and there are certain conditions that are mentioned over there if it meets they might allow it and they think that uh, it is not acceptable then they might destroy it at that particular moment itself so it is upon you whether you want to take that risk of getting those things over here uh, according to me you can find every single Indian uh, products here in Australia even after that if you want to get it please please make sure to declare it make sure it is commercially prepared and packed and it is properly sealed and anything that is mentioned over that should be also in English so that they could understand please do not lie about anything and um, especially the Indian parents who don't understand English I would suggest that you give them in writing somewhere that they cannot speak English and they need a translator so that it get easy for them to communicate with the Australian customs be aware of what you're packing into your luggage because at that point of time they are not going to accept any reason that somebody else has done your packing or else uh, you haven't declared certain things and you have those things in your luggage if you say that you forgot uh, but uh, you uh, now you can just write it yes I have got all those things you cannot say all those things please make sure that whatever you're mentioning on incoming passenger card is something that you're aware of and uh, you're aware what all things are there in your luggage moving on let's talk about utensils and kitchen appliances so there's one thing that i would highly recommend for you guys to get it from india itself is pressure cooker uh, be it three liters or five liters depending on the number of people um, buy a pressure cooker from india itself and if you have one in india get it over here uh, you can find pressure cooker here in australia but very limited and very costly so it is best to always get that from india itself Now, if you're planning to go for a furnished house, then uh, uh, remember one thing that they provide for uh, mostly all kitchen appliances and cutleries. So you don't need to worry about that. But that is something that you will figure out once you are here in Australia and start searching for accommodation, right? So uh, for safety reason, get uh, uh, some plates and uh, bowls and spoons with you. And for the family of two people, you can uh, get three or four of uh, each, three or four each 
each for every items that I have just mentioned. Again, there are kitchen items, Indian kitchen items that you can find in Indian store over here. You can watch my Indian store detailed video like I mentioned. Uh, but if you have already all those things back in India and nobody is going to use it, why not to get it over here with you, right? If you have that much of weight allowance with you. Like in our case, we didn't bring every single thing at one go. Uh, initially, we took electric cooker and two steel plates, bowls, spatula and uh, some uh, spoons with us and remaining we got it on our other trips from India to Australia uh, like we got additional cooker we uh, we got uh, idli uh, batter maker the toasters other small things that we had in India so we got all those things slowly uh, here in Australia so yes that's it I hope I have covered everything that you want to know if you have any query please feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I will try to help you as much as I can and uh, if you want to know more about Yup TV and if you want to buy their subscription I'm going to share the link of their website down below in the description box too thank you for watching this video don't forget to hit like share comment and subscribe to my channel and I'm going to see you guys in my next video super soon till then take care and bye